thousand. Wonderful to be here as we take you up to the Monday night football game. It is the Bears at the Vikings, but we have a whole lot more to take care of. We have, we talked about the USBL, Jacksonville Barracudas here, but we have, tell you what, Harry, we, we got another pro team. You're going to have to share the spotlight. Is that all right? We got a hockey team in here. I don't know. I, I don't think I have a choice. The hockey guys are just as aggressive and as physical as we are, so I think I just take a back seat right now. It's three, it's four, it's three of them, four of them. We are talking about the Jacksonville Lizard Kings of the uh, East Coast Hockey League. It's the first time we've had this brand of hockey in the area, and they really are the talk of the town, and this TV spot, we normally wouldn't do this, but it's so cool. Check this out. Introducing the Jacksonville Lizard King. It's cold-blooded hockey. And you know, he makes that save every time. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Jacksonville Lizard Kings, I present head coach Jeff Brubaker. Jeff, welcome to the show. The Lizard Kings have played seven games. You've been on the road. You have one more tomorrow night at Tallahassee. Five, one, and one. You're off to a great start. It's got to be an exciting time here in Jacksonville for you. I am so excited for uh, to be a part of this city and to have the privilege of living and working here and playing the, the greatest game, the greatest spectator sport uh, uh, next to football. Maybe we don't mind taking uh, sharing the spotlight with the Jaguars, where I'm very impressed with uh, the job that they've done. They're a first-year team. And uh, we are hoping to emulate them and ha have uh, similar success. It's a great, great sports market, and we are really proud to be part of it. Let's take a look at some of the action. We have some video from the road as uh, you went 5-1-1. One, and one. Jeff, i got to ask you, you are the winningest coach in East Coast Hockey League history. I believe that's true. Uh, you will not settle for anything but bringing a championship here. Well, our goal is to win the championship uh, in our first year. We did that in Greensboro. It's doable. Uh, yeah, I believe you have to set your sights high, and I think that uh, Jacksonville deserves nothing less than a champion. It's great to have you. You're all champions. This is Larry Lane. You are the, the president. Is that you, you like you wear about seven, eight hats, right? Sure, we all have to. It's the minor leagues, you know. You got to wear a lot of hats. What was the response? Starting in a in a in a sunshine state, you know, it works in Tallahassee. What what made you think it'd work here? This is a wonderful market. I mean, with a market this size and obviously a city who went out and got the NFL, that says enough about this market. Um, they were certainly underdogs in, in regards to getting that NFL team, which is just wonderful for the city, and that tells a lot about those people and great sports fans, and that's what excited us about it, plus just having a 8,100-seat facility that's spending $5 million renovating. Uh, it's, it's a good time to be here. And, and a lot of people here in the crowd like Larry Lane because he brought a bunch of goodies, hockey pucks and T-shirts. You are a marketing guru. Introduce the players here. Sure. This is Trevor Robbins. Trevor is our number one goalie and will be starting probably this Friday night uh, at our home opener. How long is his tongue? I'm sorry? How long is his tongue? <laughs> You're not the one in the spot. No, no. I was, uh, I was one of the uh, guys in the back later that I just sit back and take things as they come. Who else do we have here, Larry? And this is Greg Capps, and Greg's uh, kind of one of our guys, and kind of will take care of a lot of the little guys up front. Greg's played with Coach for the last couple years, and uh, is going to be a leader for us. Tell me, what is it like, guys, to come here in Jacksonville? Did you ever think your pro hockey career would take you here? For myself, uh, I'm from Canada, so playing down in the Sunshine State like this, you know, you can't you can't be happier. You know, spending uh, Christmas without snow is going to be kind of nice for my part, I think. Yeah. What about you? You bring your clubs. Well, I'm from Canada as well, brought the golf clubs. We're liking the sun. Got the copper tone out. It's a good deal. Yeah, well, it's a pleasure to have you. Welcome to Jacksonville, guys. You have your opener Friday night. It is at 7.30 at the Reptilian Pavilion. Who are you taking on? Taking on the Birmingham Bulls. And you have an unofficial mascot. Let's bring, I guess, it out. Your name. My name's Trisha Byers. And, and who is this? This is Iggy. Iggy, let's turn around so you can get a better look at at that. Iggy is what type of animal? She's a green iguana from Colombia, Costa Rica area. She's very happy in Florida, likes the warm weather. Has to keep her warm in the winter, but other than that, I mean, she's, she'd be happy living on the beach. You're a hockey fan? Yeah. Don, my 
Are you going to be at the game? I'll be at the game. Where does, do we have to get season tickets for... for or uh, can I, no, they, they, he doesn't take up a seat, so no? he's okay. okay. It's great to have you here. Can I... Can I talk? Okay, great. Great. I need a new belt. Oh, you know, that's not very nice, is it? I like that very much. Look. <laughs> Terry, I think this is a great time to throw it to Terry Casey in the newsroom in our studio with more. Terry, take it away. Now, you better watch what you say, especially when Ig Iggy's around. I think, though, John, that any kid would love to be able to take that lizard on a leash around the neighborhood for trick-or-treat rounds. It might make for a creative Halloween anyway. Tonight, after the ball game, we're going to have some trick-or-treat tips you can use with or without a lizard. A Halloween horde of mosquitoes, meanwhile, may send some ghosts and goblins shrieking for cover not too far from here. That citizens' desegregation panel, well, it tries to meet a school board deadline for answers to a problem generating shrieks from other quarters. And the smoke clears after a rock and bottle throwing melee at a hot Jacksonville night spot. More on those stories for you, and those are just a few we'll have on 17 First Coast News tonight after Monday night football. Now back to John, Iggy, and the rest of the gang on Monday night fanball. Thank you very much, Terry. We'll see you after Monday night football. I promise I'll, I'll get you season tickets. Where can you call quickly for more information on the Lizard King? Call 448-8800. That's the office, and you can get tickets at all Ticketmaster locations and the Coliseum box office. Great, Great to have you on Fanball. We will be back with our college segment, Gators Dogs. You know what happened. We'll be right back. <laughs> 